Bathley have left the building. They have. Lovely young men. Yes. Uh, very talented in the album. Is very good indeed. Choice. So get yourself a copy of that. Uh, we have been joined by Mr. Warren Clark, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> be happier. And he's brought his own stature. <laughs> <laughs> that was applause you were doing there, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Actually. Yeah, you're mixing us up with the Steve White show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, 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 don't say <laughs> that. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 In the building. Oh, email here. Steve loved the show. He loved the show. <laughs> uh, I'm just driving home. Oh, thanks, no. for, hey, hey. thanks for phoning in. Well done there. <laughs> yeah. Dear Steve, best show on the radio. Yay! Yay. Oh, I tell you what's harder than looks. I'm exhausted now. All that clapping, I suppose they've got any energy there. Oh, dear. How are you, Warren? You're I'm looking, very, very well. You're looking well. Oh, thank you very much. You're, you're, and how old are you, Warren? I'm not telling you. How old are you? I'm not telling you. Yeah, I'll tell you how old you are. How old are I? He's born in 47. Right. That makes him, what's that? Uh, 50, 50 60, would be 97. 60, so. 72. 47. No. He's in his early 80s. 56. I, I, Blimey, you look better than I thought. I know. Oh, this uh, the world, uh, But no, I was saying, you look really, you're one of these guys, whenever I bumped into you, I'm always struck by how much energy you seem to have, how, you know, with it you all are. You really are. It must be your persona bouncing back off me oh, to you. You're saying the right thing. Thank it you. It must all. be. But it's you really be. seem like, boom, you've really got it going on still. Well, I've got it going on. Yeah. And you've been, you have been around for a while. A long time. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. good news, though, isn't it? Cheers. Uh, new series of, now, how do we say this? Say D. D. Say L. L. Say so DL. DL. DL and it, Pasco. DL and Pasco. That's, That's it. it. Simple. 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 But there's all those extra letters floating around in the middle. <laughs> Just say DL. DL, but it's Dazil. No, no, DL. But Dazil. Well, some people used to call it Diesel. Diesel and Diesel Pasco. and petrol. <laughs> <laughs> DL and Pasco. Is yeah. DL a common name? Uh, I think so. I've never encountered it before this show. Well, why not? I thought it'd be made up for the programme. I thought nah. it was some sort of clever thing. Who, like could, make, who could make that up? DL and Pasco. Okay. Yeah, D- There's a new L. series starting on BBC One. There are just four in the new series. Four two hour jobbies. Oh, yes. I see. So, oh, well, that's a lot then. That is an awful lot. Uh, they're starting on the Sunday and concluding on Monday night. Yeah. That's a clever idea. Yeah. Uh, you pleased with the new four? Uh, with the new films? The new, yeah, all of them. Um, well, I've only seen two of them. Oh. Uh, because we, did, we didn't, like, we, we're still working on the last one at the moment. Still. Oh, really? I didn't know. Dubbing or whatever and uh, music and all that stuff. Uh, so I, I, uh, I've seen the first two and uh, I enjoy them. They are cracking dramas. I hope so. It's like making a whole feature film every time you do one of these now, though. Well, it's a bit more now because there used to be 90 minutes, yeah. which is feature length. Right, and uh, the BBC suddenly said to us a year ago, why don't you make two-hour jobbies? And we went, ooh. Well, we did one of those a couple of years ago and it seemed to be quite successful. Yeah. So, and everybody else is doing it now. There's a lot of other shows that go to People hours. like, you know what, when you settle down something like that, you like to settle down and get your teeth right into it. That's why, I think. Yeah. You, you know, it's a more Well, the thing, thing is, thing. but it's not two hours in one hit. No. It's spread over two nights. So you, hopefully you've got to grab the audience by the neck yeah. at the end of the first hour to make them come back again the next night. But right, it's a bit mean, really, because you're right in the middle and you want to know how it turns out. You've got to wait another 24 hours to get there. Yes, yeah. Well, hopefully you're good enough to make them come back. Here's an idea. Tape it. Don't watch it on Sunday. Tape it. Watch them both on Monday. No. <laughs> don't say that. No, don't do that. Watch it. <laughs> Tape them both, save them for Christmas. <laughs> Have a whole day of... Diesel and Pascal. Petrol. Diesel and Petrol. Yeah. Um, how long chair as squeak as mine? I don't know. My knees are probably squeaking. <laughs> no, excuse me, how my are, knees. How are your knees? Are you... No, they're terrible now. Yeah? Awful. When did they start going? Oh, about uh, 20 years ago. Man, that was when I was about 16. Yeah. Yeah. I've got a good 15 yeah. years ago. Well, I stopped playing football when I was 59. <laughs> <laughs> um, how long do they take to shoot these, though? Because if they're, like, feature length, which we've established... Well, they used to be, but now they're two hours. Right, so, so they're longer... longer well, features. some features are two hours these Some days. features, and they feel like it as well. Yeah, cool. Done. Yeah, yeah. well, you um, should know that. Oh, some of them go on for... It feels yeah. like days, really. Yeah, weeks. But presumably... Because normally a movie, say a two-hour movie, you'd be shooting over 50 or even 70 days. I mean, it'd yeah, be a couple well, of months. Yeah, five weeks. Five weeks. So yeah. it's pretty condensed. Yeah, yes. Tough schedule? Uh, kind of. But we go through it. It's yeah, OK, we, we can but, do it. But the, the show is mainly about you guys, so I guess you're on screen for an awful lot of those two hours. Well, no, it's not strictly true. I mean, we do give a lot of space to the guest artists. Right. I mean, I suppose that's why we're lucky enough to attract the people we attract, because yeah. we don't bottle them into the first five minutes and then the last hour or whatever. We give them a bit of spread, you yeah, know, and yeah. they enjoy doing it. They can get their teeth into the They can as get well. their teeth into the uh, as well, yeah. Who are the uh, guest artists in the, in the new ones? Uh, well, we uh, we got Hayden Gwynn in the first one. Right. And the first time I've worked with her since we did a show called Nice Work 15 years ago. Oh, my God. Yeah. Robert Powell's in it. Yeah. Robert oh, well, Powell's great. Right. Patterson Joseph. Um, I don't, I'm not familiar with Patterson Joseph. Well, you will be on Sunday and Monday if you watch it. What Hopefully has he done? Watch it. Oh, he's done a lot of things. Right. A lot of right. good so things. Look out for Patterson. A and a great, great actress uh, who I hadn't seen 
for 30 years, Miriam Carlin. Miriam Carlin, hold it. And the last time we worked together was on Clockwork Orange. Oh, yeah, Miriam Carlin, I know Miriam Carlin. She it? was the cat lady in Clockwork Orange. That's right. Yeah. Oh, man, that... But, I mean, she's done hundreds of millions of things yeah. as well, but... Uh, you, you it was, I walked into the read through I didn't know she was going to be in it, and I just saw that, I went, my God, yeah. Miriam! It was amazing, yeah. She uh, presumably knew you were. Oh, yeah, well, we know, yeah, but... Yeah. How nice, how nice. Yeah. So, so a lot of catching up to do there, yeah. though. And in another film, we got uh, an old mate, Christopher Kazanoff. Um, it's endless supply yeah. of, of friends keep turning up. And, 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 and are these people who presumably, I guess, the casting guys say this would be a good person for this part, or are they guest names that they have on a list they think we'd like to get? No, we, we look at the roles that we, 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 we write and we say, what do you think? Who are we going to get? Uh, who can we get? Who can we afford? Yeah. Who would be available? And then we troll the net and whatever and... Uh, hopefully come up with the right people. Have there ever been anyone put forward who you didn't fancy working with? You don't have to name names, but are there kind of... Occasionally, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. And well, I'm not naming names. Uh, do you have the, the the power, or do they listen to you enough for you to say, well, I'm, I don't really I fancy do have the power. Wow, yeah. isn't that nice? Yeah. Isn't that nice? Because yeah. I've been stuck with a guy on radio for quite a while now. Andy... Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, and you know, yeah. it's... Yeah. You'd yeah. think they'd listen. I know. No. I'm the same. You've been stuck with John. Yeah, yeah. John you know I'm John. joking. I've you been know asking. I'm joking. I've been asking for release for years to get out of it. Very, very. There's only a few people I would trade you for. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so presumably, though, you've almost you finished the actual main body of filming these, I guess. You know, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just in the uh, sort of edit stage, putting it together. The last film. Yeah, yeah. The last film of this present run. So when you finish these, do you know what you're doing next, or you I do the action of I do know what I'm doing. But that's a good position to be in for yeah. now. What are you I'm doing? doing next? <laughs> 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 oh, is there no yeah, release? So, God, I know. You're on a treadmill. When are we going to get out of here? <laughs> it's like all these years of Jonathan Ross on a Saturday morning. Hey, mm. hey. Sorry, 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 sorry. You know we can get. Someone else. Yeah. Miriam Carlin's available. I believe. She is. Christopher I'll leave Kassano's begging I'll leave for stuff. I'll go now. Uh, yeah. But I mean, no, it's great to see you doing. But do you get bored ever? Uh, try not to. Yeah. But it makes it harder to make it work or to make it feel like it's working. But I'm doing. I'm doing that. We're doing five more films, and I'm also doing. Also doing. I'm also appearing in the BBC's production of Bleak House. Oh wow! For Charles Dickens. Wow, well, that'll uh, be fun. Novel. So, yeah. So, I, in fact, I'd be shooting that in the middle of shooting D. L. and Pascoe. Right. So, oh, well, that would be quite strange. Sort of juggling kind of contemporary fiction uh, and going from cyborgs to yeah. whatever, and then yes. Yeah, what party you have in Bleak House? Uh, both on. Boythorn. Boythorn. I, Boythorn. Wish I were familiar Boythorn. enough with the text to be able to know who he is. So do I. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm sure it's a big part. It's No, it's a is huge that, It's a huge ensemble piece. Is that the one with Little Dorrit in it? Uh, no, it's not. No. Is it Tony Tim? But I could get him in it. Tony <laughs> Tim. Like. Hey, I know, it's got Magwitch, the convict in it. No, no, no. Magwitch, come here. Yeah, a great part. What You'd a great make a part. great Magwitch. Wouldn't I? And I could be the little boy. I've been asked to do Magwitch. <laughs> we could do great expectations. Yeah, you, you could, you like could be Professor Plum in the library with the lead pipe. We'll do our own Dickens. It's funny, this, because that dialogue comes up in D. Alan Pascoe. You know? <laughs> what, Professor Plum in the yeah. library with a lead pipe? Yeah. <laughs> I think in the second film. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I do love a game of Cluedo. Do you? Do you ever play? I have done. People must expect you to have some sort of procedural detective <laughs> skills in your head. Well, when people... Oh, from... I'm not playing well, and he'll be finished in a minute. <laughs> people are frightened to come to my house in case they get murdered. <laughs> and I'm on the case. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Slowly trying to find who did it. Yeah. Uh, what sort of music do you listen to? Every kind of music. So you're very open? I am very open. All right. In that I case... just heard a great band, apart from the band you just had on. Athlete, fabulous. Oh, fabulous. Uh, I just heard another good band, or oh, three, three piece, Mercury Rev. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Are you familiar with Razorlight? Not sure. They're Play very it. good. They're very, well, well. I don't know if we have it here. I was just going to. I was just teasing you with it. Are you just going to give me an album, a copy of it? I'm no. going to give you a copy of Athlete's album oh, because fantastic. I already have one. I know oh, you like that. Any so more? Take with you. <laughs> I haven't got any more albums to give you here. Well, these are. Hey, get hands oh, off, Clark. All right, okay. <laughs> all right, how did it? What should we play? Should we play something old? I'm going to play. I'm, no, I was going to play something, something old new. for me. Yeah. Let's play something new. Let's play some Tony Bennett for him. Yeah, why not? What's this? This is a band called Rilo Kylie. And I want to see if you like this. I've heard of Rilo Kylie. Well, you are then. Is that playing words? Well, what do you think? Of that, yeah. I like that. It's I nice, like isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Sound. I like the girl's voice. Yeah. We don't know if they're American or English. I we think just... we think they're American. Rilo like Kylie. It's out on Monday. D Darth name. It's, yeah, and the song's called Portions for Foxes. Which Why is do it? people have silly names for bands? Well, I don't know. Can we do something like that? What do you want to do about it? Well, we name them. <laughs> Oh, go on then, rename them. <laughs> yeah, there should be. Like, can we? Is this not a democracy? You can call it, Where are we? You why don't you call it Kylo Riley? <laughs> yeah, that'll do it. You know, no? don't start. Because really, I'll go off you. Right. Um, Warren <laughs> Clark is with us. You know him best as Dazil <laughs> in Pasco. <laughs> <isn't there? laughs> and it's on the BBC One on a regular basis. DL. 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 DL, DL and Pasco. Yeah. Um, uh, we were just briefly talking about uh, Clockwork Orange. Well, that was you were. You were as well. <laughs> and uh, God, you, how old were you when you made Clockwork Orange? <laughs> 21-ish. Well, just a baby, really. We were yeah, youngster. Yeah. Was it your first big acting job? No. Well, first big movie. Yeah. Uh, I'd been around for a bit, a little bit, 
doing theatre and uh, Royal Court stuff in Chelsea and uh, a couple of shows in the West End and loads of repertory theatre up and down the country and television. But that was the first big movie and then it was buried yeah. or it, it, it was released. We took a year to make, which was a bit of a shock. As I missed two other films on a trip to Broadway, New York Broadway. But by know. Kubrick standards, that's fairly speedy, isn't it? Well, it was, but I mean, the the contract was originally going to be twelve weeks or something, and uh, we're still on it a year oh, later. That's a few years. And so I missed these other movies and missed this trip to Broadway, and uh, then it came out, and then it was sort of uh, aggressively it was attacked, uh, beaten in the UK, up by yeah. by uh, local government, the the uh, press, or whatever. The tabloid press had a go at it, and Stanley went, "Okay, I'll take it away." And he took it away, and I so it disappeared. Because there was some kind of copycat violence that occurred around it, and I always well, they was say people, that, but I mean, I don't know how true that was. He just know. thought it was badly received then. I th I yeah, I think so in this country. Yeah, you had a much bigger face back then. <laughs> <laughs> if you watch the film, if you get to see like the film, balloon. it's a big face. <laughs> It was well. The screen was big. Well, imagine that on a big screen. I've it was, seen it was a screen. huge screen. It's I imagine it was terrifying. But if <laughs> maybe that's why he withdrew it. <laughs> <laughs> he looked at it and said, "You know what? Well, I've made a mistake of this yeah. fella. Face too big. <laughs> <laughs> the world's not ready for it yet. <laughs> we'll pull it. We'll wait for the year 2000. Bring it back out. Ah. And see if they can deal with the big face. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> but your face big now face is Clark. What happened to your face? It sort of settled down. <laughs> no, it's because my, my hair. I've combed my hair up straight. No, <laughs> it's face settled down. He's grown into his face. Well, it was a big. It was a big face back then. It was. It's still a big face, though. Well, it's not as big as it used to be. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the rest of it gone? Uh, <laughs> I think he sold something around modern. <laughs> I think she's wearing it as a forehead. No, she's got it in my, her lips. Because <laughs> you had big, plump lips. I, she's got my lips now. Yeah. And Robinson's now got my lips. But you know why? It's good you had big lips then, because they've settled down. They're a nice lip now. <laughs> Back then, they were big old stamp. You lips. could actually stick me to a window. <laughs> they were really. <laughs> yeah. But look at you now. Look yeah. a fine figure of a man. Thank you very much. Yeah. Um, so you, presumably, though, the way your career's gone, whack couldn't couldn't have been better for you, could it? It's fantastic. I mean, you know, still to have been this long and to have basically a star vehicle. At you, seventy-nine you, years of age, I'm mm, still working. Oh, it's unbelievable. You'd be, yeah. you know, you'd be pleased if you keep going that long. I'd be happy if I can keep going for another two years. Yeah. yeah. You know. Are you, how are your knees? You know, my knees are bad. Do you want him to demonstrate it? Yeah, go it on, earlier. show me. Go on, do it again. They've taken my knee mic away. <laughs> oh, no. How could they do that to the people? <laughs> do they sound like packets of Chris when you walk upstairs? If only they sounded that smooth. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, it's more like a bonfire. <laughs> it's the crackle and popping of a bonfire. But you, do you take any supplements? Yes. What do you take? Um, wine. Apart from the beautiful tannin containing wine, do you take any oil of any sort? I heard you talking about this to somebody no. last week. I haven't started on it. An old you friend of mine called Sheila Hancock. Mm. God bless her. You were talking about supplements yeah, then, weren't you? you? As you get older, and I think, you know, in our age and up, you meant to have a little bit of the fish oil. Yeah, oh, yeah, very much so, yes. do yeah. You do, you I, do, I do occasionally do the Vitamin fish oil. Vitamin C tablets? Uh, no, but I do like a lot of fresh orange juice. You have a lot of fresh orange juice, that'll do for you. The vitamin C tablets, you can go either route. You can go the tablet or you can have the fizzy blob you put in your tongue. Yes. You're not meant to what do you do? You put it in water, you don't put it on your tongue. No, you can, have a, you can have a fizzy blob and put it can on you? your tongue, can't you? You're talking to the equivalent of James Bond here. I live dangerously. <laughs> right, you... I put it right... One, day, I'll put one on the top of the tongue, one underneath. Oh, Just yeah. sat there on my jaws, a trying, to, trying to live through it. That's <laughs> crazy like for kicks. It's a bit like a sherbet dab, that isn't it? Do you remember sherbet, 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 sherbet dib dabs? Yeah. Oh. And, it, you, and what's that other thing you the kids eat? And you put it in your mouth, and your mouth explodes. Oh, that was um, TNT. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What were they called those things? They were great. Yeah. Space rocks. Space, Space rocks. Yeah. 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 Oh, now you're talking. Didn't they ban them? No, I don't think so. Didn't a child lose its jaw or something? One of those. I think they poured loads in one child. Yeah, and held the mouth shut. I think the deal was, if you were brave, you put loads of that in your mouth, and then you took a swig of a fizzy drink, a carbonated yeah. juice, and well, then like, the combined of, uh, effect was explosive. Ties are everything. <laughs> Am I Bo. right in thinking you're a man who likes a bit of licorice? Bo. Love it. <laughs> what, what are you talking about? You don't like a licorice lover. Really? I like yeah. a bit of licorice. Do you? You've oh. always said that before, yeah. I could eat more. That I might be your knees. That might be the problem. That, uh, don't you dare criticise my licorice consumption <laughs> and try and tie in with my might be, infirmities. Might be. Right? There might be something in licorice that causes the crunching of knees. looking for a little bit of support. Is that too much to ask? Yeah. And now you're picking <laughs> up a diet. <laughs> Would you like a mint? No, thank you. Okay. What do you think is the most licorice a man could eat in one city? <laughs> what do I what? think? <laughs> Why uh, is it we always descend into just any old what stuff? What do you mean we descend into any old stuff? This is interesting. Warren's tired of being the same old interviews about Dazeel and... D.L.? D.L. Yeah. Yeah. Pascal. Yeah. 
He doesn't want to answer those questions. All I don't. I want to talk about licorice. coins all the time. Yeah, yeah. coins, this oh. and that. Now, finally, he gets a chance to let us know what he thinks about licorice. You're stomping all over it. But you're saying how much can you eat in one sitting? I'm curious to know how what Warren might have an opinion on. How long's the sitting? Is that a bad... Warren, was that a bad question? I thought it was rather intelligent, actually. Was it? Thank you. Come on. Thank you. Come on. Warren, don't defend him. He's just descending Thank into you. an odd interview with how much licorice can you eat? You don't know. That's why... <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm you're scared top. of your ignorance. We're shining a torch, the torch of truth, upon your ignorance. <laughs> Warren, how what? much Sorry. licorice you want? I was to just do? looking out the window. How there. much could, could a man... There might be men at home thinking about going on a bit of a licorice bend this weekend. Well, yeah. With you, your experience, how much licorice in one sitting do you think will be healthful to, to eat? To I would consume? say about a quarter of a pound. We yeah. don't say pounds anymore, do they? Well, do they say? I think they should. Half a mm. kilo? No. What is a kilo? I don't no. even know what a kilo is. Yeah. I've not bothered with the kilos. Is that guy around the corner still got his fruit store where he still sells things in ounces and pounds and Probably, yeah. Why well, don't me, done. you and Tom Conti go down, then we'll, we'll, we'll protest on his behalf. What, and ask him for a pound of licorice? <laughs> go on, Tom Conti, calm down, Tom. <laughs> Pay your oh, fines. Yes, of course, Tom. Yeah. Pay your fines and calm paper, down. Yeah. <laughs> Stop driving into town. What Walk. about Pontifrat cakes? Are they <laughs> licorice? Oh, yeah, they are, yeah. yeah. It's for their extra strength, aren't they? It's the king yeah. of licorices. Yeah. yeah, but there's a lot more licorice in that. I'll tell, tell you what I do love, though. What? What? A licorice pipe. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, there was all things you could chew them, couldn't you? It could look really And then really it's the treat. When you're yeah. in your way down, yeah. you've got the small red blobs on the top. Yeah. Oh, the little and pieces. And you can pretend you're Man's Sherlock red yeah. fire. That's right, man's yeah. red fire yeah. in edible form. Yeah. we got to go on that bombshell. Oh, dear. <sighs> Is that it? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> well, I'd love to see you again. It's been fantastic. Good luck with DL and Piscal. <laughs> oh, and congratulations you. on correctly answering the licorice question. Oh, Great. You pleasure. have now won your own weight. In Brilliant. Kate. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you for listening. 88 to 91 FM. This is Radio 2 from the BBC.